Being a good Christian or doing the will of the Lord is not necessarily a matter of free will, but more so a matter of goodwill. And the reason why I say this is like, for example, if I would choose to do good and it was solely because of my free will and because I decided to do the will of the Lord, then what I'm saying is that I myself am good. And as the Bible reveals to us, and also as Jesus said in Luke 18, is that no one is good except for God. Through the acceptance of Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, I no longer identify as a sinner, yet I still have a sin nature. And Paul, the apostle, was also very vivid and very open about this in Romans 7, where he described the constant tug of war that he had between his sin nature and also his desire to do the will of the Lord. And that desire came from the Holy Spirit of God that is within him, yet he still acknowledged the presence of his sin nature, but no longer identified as a sinner. And admitting that you have a sin nature doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you less of a Christian. It shouldn't make you scared or even insecure. But what it does do is that it gives you the space and openness to live a life in full submission to the one you serve. Because even the good that we do, and this is actually what I'm trying to say in short, right? Is even the good that we do is solely dependent on his grace and mercy. It's not a matter of own intellect. It's not a matter of own wisdom or how smart you are or how well you know the books. It's all a matter of his grace, which goes above our understanding.